Hey everyone, it's Hannah, and with Halloween coming right around the corner, you may be wanting to dress up or do something for, to your dolls for Halloween. Well, instead of buying one of those expensive costumes or going into the work of making your own costume, here are just some fun hairstyles you can do to still get your doll in the festive mood. We have a queen, a horse, and a cute alien. So let's get started on the alien look. All these looks are very simple, um, and you can do them on almost any doll length hair. So first, I'm just gonna be brushing out out my doll's hair and spritzing it with spritzing her hair with a little bit of water. Next, we're going to be putting her hair into two pigtails on the side of her head. When you're tying the last loop, only go halfway through to make a bun. Then to clean it up a little bit, I'm just going to be taking the ends that are still out and just tucking them into the hairband that we tied the, the hair with. So this is really simple, you can skip it if you want, but then I also like to add a bow to make it into a really cute little alien hairstyle. Now let's move on to the gorgeous horse. So this works better with long hair dolls, but you can try it with any hair doll. So first you're gonna wanna separate her hair into two separate parts. Then you're going to take a sm the smaller section of hair, which should be close to her neck, and you're just gonna tie this off. I'm using it with an elastic instead of like a thick hair band because you don't wanna be able to see this very well. So make sure that this is less hair than the top part and make sure it's just lying against her body. Then you're going to take the second section of hair and doing the same, tying it into a ponytail. But like we did on the first hairstyle, once you get to the last loop that you can do, only go halfway through to make a little bun. This ponytail slash bun should be about in the middle of her head, a little higher up than the first ponytail we did. Once I have the looped ponytail or bun, I'm just pulling the ends of it to make the bun shaped a little bit more smaller and the ends sort of match better with the first ponytail we did. And as you can see, this makes the hair look really long in the back. And then I also like to just take a ribbon to put around both of the ponytails so that it hides both of the elastics and it just looks like one really cute ponytail. So that is it for the horse. Now let's move on to the queen slash princess or whatever you want to call her, but I think she looks definitely like a queen. So first you are going to brush out her hair and this can be done on almost any hair length. However, it, it does work a little better on shorter hair dolls. So once you brush out her hair, then what you're gonna do is do two pigtails on each side of her head. Then you're gonna take one of those pigtails and divide it into three sections and just do a regular braid going down. So crossing over, crossing over, and you know, just like how you do a regular braid. And then I also secured it at the end. So if you're a younger viewer watching, then you can just leave the elastic in at the end when we cross it over, as you'll see in a second, um, cause that's just gonna be easier to work with. And so that's what I did. But if you're a little older or more advanced in hairstyling, I guess you could say, um, then once we flip the hair over, as we'll be doing next, then you can take the bottom elastic out so that it doesn't show. So as I was saying, now we are just going to take the two braids and flip them on top of her head, just like so. You can put whichever one in front, it doesn't really matter, but just bring them to the top of her head. And then you can bobby pin it if you want, or just to make it a little simpler, I just tucked the ends into the opposite elastic. So if you can see, I'm just tucking the ends of this into that elastic. And as I said, now would be the time that you would want to take out the elastic in the front, as you can, the, the black thing you can see, um, if you don't want that to show. But if you're younger or you don't feel comfortable not having that in, because that's what keeps the helps keep the braid in, then you can totally keep it in. But that is the queen hairstyle. I hope you all enjoyed this and I just spritzed with a little bit more water just to help with a little bit of the frizz and tell me in the comments if you did one of these hairstyles on your doll for Halloween and if it maybe matched your costume. 
that would be so cute. So that is all for today, and I'll see you all in my next video.